Hello, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz, and in this video, I am going to share with you more news updates on the website PCN.today. Okay, so this is the website where we or I got our um, our news today. So I'm going to read to you the major news that I found here which are very very interesting so before I start I just want to share that this website preferredcurrency.news is a website that in which you can subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to get the daily newsletter so in my previous video I, showed, I shared with you rather um, the newsletter so please watch that also okay so in this video, let, uh, I'm just going to share with you the news updates, which are very, very nice. Okay, so let's start. Right, so this is the first one. So Tron announces 100 million blockchain gaming fund. So this is very, very um, interesting. So the centralized internet protocol Tron announced its plans to launch a blockchain gaming fund dubbed Tron Arcade in a press release shared with Cointelegraph November 29. Tron Arcade, which the company says is designed to empower developers, will see investment totaling a giant $100 million over the next three years. The move is another, another long-term commitment from Tron, which acquired file-sharing giant BitTorrent earlier this year. According to Tron CEO Justin Sun, the arcade will play a crucial role in the firm's expanding popularity. Tron strives to tackle existing issues faced by the gaming industry by leveraging the open, transparent, and immutability of blockchain technology. He commented in the press release continuing, Tron Arcade will play a crucial role in encouraging developers to join in our mission and provide the best blockchain gaming experience to users around the world. So let's continue. So in line with that, um, with what has become a common theme in its publicity, Tron highlighted the attributes of its network such as transaction speed versus those of Ethereum. Sun himself had continued the PR drive prior to the company's announcement taking to social media this week in an attempt to woo Ethereum developers over to his platform as prices tanked. See? So that is the first one. So it's very, very nice, especially to those uh, to Tron holders. All right, so let's continue to the second update. Hardware wallet Ledger Nano S announces support for Monero. So this is very, very nice and this is very, very good for Monero holders. Since you can hold your um, Monero in the Ledger Nano S. So cryptocurrency hardware wallet manufacturer Ledger has updated its support for altcoin Monero XMR for its Nano S device. The company confirmed in a press release shared with Cointelegraph November 29. The French company which along with Trezor and KeepKey is one of the oldest hardware wallet manufacturers in the industry said that Nano S was already compatible with Monero's latest GUI 0.13 release we are thrilled to welcome another top 10 cryptocurrency to the ledger platform with Monero CEO Eric uh, Larchevik commented adding Larchevik Vicky okay. So with this addition, Ledger devices now cover 90% of the entire crypto market capitalization. Like its competitors, Ledger continues to focus on supporting as many of the popular cryptocurrencies as possible. As security um, holdings become an ever more pressing issue of investors. Earlier this month, Trezor issued a warning that counterfeiters had stepped up efforts to release fake versions of its own devices or sale on the market. Um, where were we? Here it is. Sale on the internet rather. This week, meanwhile, Ledger announced its expansion into New York and the hiring of a former intercontinental exchange executive to head its institutional custody project Ledger Vault. 
in October, Larchivec um, revealed Ledger had sold over 1.3 million nano S units. Monero is currently ranked 12th among cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. The coin is trading around 60.88, down just under 1% on the day to press time, right? So, this is very, very interesting as you can see, right? So, the next one is also nice. So, here it is. So, crypto winter is much warmer in Singapore. Hmm. Lock show Asia closes an optimistic note. Hmm. So, let's close this one first. Why can't I close it? Right, so here it is. So, Block Show Asia 2018 has come to an end in Singapore, Thursday, November 29. With most visiting experts predicting that cryptocurrencies on blockchain will fare better in 2019. According to the Block Show team, 2,800 people attended the two day conference, including potential investors who participated in EXP20. A business pitch competition for startup announce, startups announced shortly before Blockshow Asia. More than 50 speakers from various crypto and blockchain projects participated in the events discussion panels. On the first day, experts discussed the Chinese crypto ban, centralized networks for fine artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology's impact on ecology and gaming sector. Alexander Dreyfus, CEO of Sports Blockchain Venture Chile's, tweeted. Full house at blockchain blockshow dot blockshow com. Crypto winner is much warmer in Singapore. Jeffrey Wang, a crypto enthusiast and founder of decentralized social media platform Mithril, opened the first day with a speech in which he gave a positive forecast for 2019. So in three to six months, the growth will be exploding. It's cool to be in this new technology, new space where it's really quiet, and nobody is in on the secret yet. I think definitely the bear market is helping again, kind of like the China ban. Gets rid of those not of the noise, gets rid of the pretenders, people that aren't going to be around three to five years from now. It allows people who are going to take the risk, get to work and come out on top. So Wall Street Wall Street's major crypto bull Tom Lee took the same view, stating that bear markets are a golden time to invest in crypto. The only, the only time to return is better than 7% is when you buy at a bear market. Bitcoin may have downsides in the near term, but this doesn't change the fact we are still in the earliest days of crypto, and it's about to become an emerging asset class. So on the second day, speakers addressed crypto-related regulation, big corporations tackling blockchain and the evolution of crypto exchanges, among other questions. Opening this stage, Bobby Lee, a fan of China's oldest crypto exchange and mining pool BTCC compared fiat money to the system um, from the Matrix movie. He predicted that as different states will try to fight cryptocurrencies in the near future. There will be a war on the freedom of money. Governments worldwide will do more and more to suppress Bitcoin. The um, further added. All right. Especially in this bear market, I urge you, if you are a true believer, if you if you truly understand the essence of Bitcoin, the impact of Bitcoin, about the new the new form of ownership, about the control we're taking back, about the freedom of money, you should hold or huddle Bitcoin. Block show CEO Addy please I've stated that bear market and crypto winter were among the most heard words at the conference. However, he believes that, that, that in 2019, markets will change. This marks the second time the block show came to Singapore in 2018. The conference team also held block show Americas in Las Vegas and block show Europe in Berlin, which saw a record turnout with 3,000 people attending the event. Right, so those are the three uh, that I find very, very interesting in the news updates today. Okay. So guys, um, if you have time, please visit PCNL today also, right? So if you're fond of listening to podcasts and watching videos, um, join the Telegram group, especially if you're an EOS holder, because it will keep you up with the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS, okay? 
and if you want to join initiative queue you can use my initiative queue link below at the description okay and also if you want to get rewarded in crypto download lumius.io in your favorite app store or google play store okay so i think that's it so guys um before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys um this has been vic once again bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies right signing off bye bye